Well, uh, my next guest is a very funny comedian. Did you like that? Yeah, I like that. It's like a movie phone guy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Very funny comedian. If you know the name of the comedian you'd like to see, press one. <laughs> He's at the Improv in Hollywood, California on July the 2nd. Please welcome Matt Goldich, everybody. Matt Goldich. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Uh, I'm a married man. I got married a few years ago, and uh, I remember a couple months before my wedding, my uh, now wife, then fiance, woke up one morning, and she said, uh, oh, Matt, I had a dream about you. I had a dream that it was the day before our wedding, and you were murdered by a serial killer. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, uh, you know, in the future, I would prefer if you would refer to those as uh, nightmares. <laughs> just, uh, just so we're clear where you stand <laughs> on the whole issue of me being murdered by a serial killer the day before our wedding. <laughs> or at the very least, how about uh, bad dream? Just throw the word bad in there. It seems like that wouldn't be that hard. It's just one extra syllable. My wife says a lot of things. I don't know how to interpret them. They're kind of ambiguous. Like one morning I woke up and uh, we just started fooling around first thing in bed and uh, she just goes, uh, whoa, it's like some hot guy just showed up in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah. It's like that. It's like that. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad it's as if you're turned on right now. That's very exciting for me. Thank you for putting it that way. My wife and I were having lunch at a restaurant uh, not too long ago, and uh, this actually happened. The waitress came up to us and she said, uh, can I get you ladies anything? So, uh, yeah. Still got it, you guys. Still got it. I, uh, I'm not dead yet. I'm just... Just a lesbian, apparently, I guess. Uh, my wife is uh, still friends with a lot of people she went to high school with, which I always find strange. I don't really talk to very many people from high school. I would say uh, most of those people I've not spoken to since, uh, I don't know, elementary school? Like, that was probably the last time I had a serious conversation. I'm getting older. That's part of it. I, uh, I'm 33. I feel like I'm about 53. And... Uh, there's certain things you know you're starting to get old when you hear yourself say things like, you know, I had an apple the other day that was just fantastic. Like, only... <laughs> only an old person would... A young person would never say that. Once you start to wax nostalgic about fruit from the past, you should just... You should just check yourself into a home at that point, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of very important issues out there that nobody talks about or thinks about, really. Uh, did you guys know that uh, every year 400 Jewish men die trying to remove a sweater while walking down a flight of stairs? That's a true <laughs> statistic. It's not even including sweatshirts. And, uh, you know, you won't hear President Obama mention that in any of his speeches. But uh, anyway, I bought, uh, I, I moved to Los Angeles a couple years ago. I had to buy a car. I'd never owned a car before. And uh, I go to the salesman. He's trying to tell me all about the engine of the car. And you could tell by looking at me, I'm not the kind of guy who knows a lot about how the engine works. I'm the kind of guy who falls down the stairs trying to remove a sweater. But... Uh, <laughs> So he goes, you know, only two cars have this engine. It's this and the Porsche 911. And it's like, oh my God, what a coincidence that the other car, the only other car that has this engine just happens to be a really expensive sports car, you know? It does make you wonder what happens if you go to the Porsche dealership. <laughs> if they're like, you know, only two cars have this engine. It's this and the Hyundai Accent. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why we gave them the technology. Seems like we should have held on to that one for ourselves. Could have sold a few more Porsches. Yeah. All right, you guys, thank you very much. Enjoy.